My preference is still for the original linguistic anthropological framework of communicative language learning and what that really meant. And that meant language use. How does a community really use language to communicate ideas? And how do the different aspects of language contribute to making meaning that is shared with a community? Um, I think that those notions uh, from Del Himes, for example, or from Savignon at the very beginning of the 70s have been adopted by people who claim to do communicative language learning and there were textbooks that talked about communicative language learning. Many of those textbooks ultimately still had a grammatical syllabus and they merely placed a couple of sentences or questions on there which were open-ended and that covered the communicative language learning part. Because communicative meant you have information, I don't know, I have information, you don't know, we'll share that. That is communicative because we don't know what the other people will answer, but the point was still grammar practice. And there was very little context from real life language use. There was very little um, use of descriptive grammar. There was very little use of uh, language use with all its failures and warts, even among native speakers. Everything had to be perfect. The models that were in those textbooks were very stylized and uh, they used prescriptive grammar models. And again, mostly to teach grammar or a set of vocabulary items. So what I try to use is I take authentic text to the extent possible or if not authentic text, then at least plausible text, things that would come up possibly in everyday conversations. So my students will probably not be able to recreate an ice, buying ice cream in Germany because many of them will not go there, but at least they can recreate something that could be plausible and if they should go over there, they'll have practiced that. But it's the whole speech event of buying ice cream. So grammar is almost subservient to that, lexicon is subservient to that, the sociolinguistic rules are subservient to that, cultural knowledge, all of it collectively creates language use. And so the focus is always what would native speakers do with that particular language, speech events, language events, and start that as a starting point. So language as language use, and for me that is what communicative language practice is.